Hi guys, this is Hello Green Eyes, and welcome to Seduce Me, the Otome. Um, I haven't played this in a bit. I don't remember much about what was going on, except there were creepers that were going to creep. Um, so let's get started. Hope you like. And let's hope that things somewhat return to normal. Ah, hair's in the way and shit. Okay, load. Where was I at? Where was I at? Um, it seems like the latest one, so let's go with that. <laughs> you pretty boys think you're all that, and I'll say that to the end of my pistol. I'm putting my hair up. I can't. I can't. Dumb bitch. Huh? What's going on? Because she's dumb bitch and doesn't know what she's talking about. Ever. I couldn't move my body. I felt like I was tied up. <laughs> One move and she gets it. Okay, I thought those other dudes sounded creepy. That dude sounds fucking creepy. Let her go. Aw, little buddy. Back Come you? on, chicken shit. Fight us like a real man. <laughs> like you scare me, Sam. Come on. Take one step. I dare you. Why can't I see? Stay away from her, Malix. And what are you gonna do, nerd boy? Aw, now y'all just being mean. Arms wrapped around my body protectively. I've got you. Don't worry. Thanks. You were the worst one, but now you're improving. Huh? Um. Aww. Damien? You can't control your dreams. Aww. He seems nice. And I guess you're right. You know, thanks for prying into those. I know I know you can't help it, but whatever. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's 9 a.m. James and I were making breakfast when I, uh, well, no, not yet at least. I hope to learn eventually, though. Is everything all right? Yeah. That's good. I'm assuming you had a nightmare. Yeah. You didn't disturb us, miss. Besides, we'd rather make sure you're okay before anything. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Now, why don't you come downstairs with us and have some breakfast? I'm sure some nice food will take your mind off of what you dreamt of. That sounds very tempting, actually. It's embarrassing to be the damsel in distress once again. Glad they were concerned, knowing for me only for a short time. Couldn't exactly read their minds. Alright! Yum yum breakfast, bacon and eggs and stuff. Okay. Breakfast smells good. We should be done with breakfast soon. If you want to sit down at the table, you can. Thank you. I nodded before sitting down. As I sat down, however, my mind drifted back to the dream I had. A feeling of hostility made me, my body shudder instinctively, even though I knew it wasn't real. I remember as my eyes closed, I felt a hand place itself on top of my head. Huh? Morning. You all right? Oh, I even... Oh, that was the jerk. It wasn't Eric, it was him. Yeah, I'm fine. He rustled my hair and then sat down and barked towards the kitchen. Where hey! Was the is the food done yet? I'm starving! At least he was nice to me before he was a complete jackass. There's no need to yell, Sam! You're yelling too! Don't argue with me! Such hostility in this house. Can we not yell this early in the morning? It's not like we're in the castle. Thank you. I don't like yelling that early either. Castle? Some reason I heard the word castle, I couldn't help but yell in surprise. These guys had a castle? Yeah, we have a castle back home. Our dining room's ten times bigger than this room. Sorry, my, my, you know, my house isn't adequate enough for you. And wouldn't it be logical to not yell? <laughs> whatever. Bacon, egg, toast, and waffles. Mmm. 
Mm, my favorite. Oh, why does he have to say mm, like that? That's so creepy. Finally. Thank you for the breakfast. It's our pleasure. You Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, the ringtone. Let me guess, it's my mother. Watch. Hello? Hey, good morning. Oh, it's my friend. Okay. Guess who's at your door right now? Oh my god, no. Suzu, no. Suzu, no. I'll get it. Matthew, don't. Damn it. They're going to give me such a hard time. I already know. Uh. He has like this puppy dog look on his face. Like, he don't want to hurt his feelings. They're like, uh... uh. <laughs> How was I going to explain this? This week was bad enough. Who are you? Susan, let me explain. What's going on here? Who's at the door, Matthew? Oh. Uh-oh. Situation was not getting pretty. I had to think fast. They're visitors. Then why did one of them open the door? Yeah, that... Um... We must apologize, ladies. We know the situation must be confusing for everyone. Let's take this to the dining room and we'll explain everything. No, God, don't use your seducy voodoo on them, please. Eric and Matthew place their untouched plates of food in front of them, surprising their guests. Whoa, this looks am- Thank you! Oh, they gave their food? That's Sam was so hungry too. What the hell? Our pleasure, ladies. We hope you enjoy your meals. Oh god. Make sure you dig in. Yeah, see, he's all like Matthew's like the cute innocent one and Eric's like the super uber creeper you hope to avoid at the bar. Food to ease their minds, whatever James wanted to reveal. He stood by the chair making me grow red in the face. So, Anderson, are you gonna tell us what's going on? Well, uh... We are Miss Anderson's house servants. We were hired by her late grandfather to help around the mansion. Smart but man. since he has passed, we now assist Miss Anderson with living on her own. That is smart. I was hoping that's the answer you would go with. That makes sense. It's such a huge house. A huge house for a wonderful princess such as Miss Anderson deserves the greatest of servants to care for it. Oh god, just stop. But why are you all dressed so casually and stuff? Well, Miss Anderson allows us to get comfy while we work. So she lets us wear casual clothes. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> We're sorry if we made this situation awkward earlier. We're very sure that Miss Anderson is also still getting used to having us as her servants. It would be very hard to explain after just a day. Truth. I guess. So, if I may ask, what brings you two ladies here? Well, we wanted to see how our friend was doing. Since it's the weekend and all, usually we hang out and just chill. That's so weird. That's like someone who's not a teenager trying to speak like a teenager. Yeah, like going to the arcade and stuff. Or the Pink Lady Cafe. There's an arcade? <laughs> of course the kid gets excited. <clears throat> that makes a lot of sense, ladies. Well, we don't wish to disturb you any further than we have, so we'll take our leave and start preparing the house. Good going, James. I like you. You're smart. Huh? Preparing for what? We gotta prep the house for some sort of housewarming party thing. Our princess's parents requested a housewarming party to be held here Quit soon. calling me princess. That's so weird. And by soon, they mean tonight. Oh, well, I guess we can help out or something. Right, Naomi? I thought you wanted to go to the arcade. Oh my god, Naomi. Don't you see I have bigger problems? This housewarming thing is more important. Thank you, Suzu, the voice of logic. No need. We can handle it. If you'd like to, miss, you can go out with your friends while we handle things here. Seriously? <laughs> Sam's starting to crack me up now. Sam, not now. Well, I... I wanted to help out, but at the same time I wanted to go... Um... Are you sure? I trust these guys will be able to work everything Thank out. Thank you for trusting us, miss. 
We'll have everything done for you by the time you return home. Yay! I'm hoping they don't fuck it up. All right, we'll wait here while you go get your things. Stranger relieved, knowing everything is going to be okay. Blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Driving towards the city. It was just good to forget my Well, troubles. since we got you out of the house, we might as well go to the mall and walk around a bit. We did just eat breakfast after all. That's true. Yeah, that was a Could good have meal. had more flavor, in my opinion. Oh my god, Suzu, stop getting picky. Suzu, you eat chili peppers when you're bored. Everything you eat always needs more flavor. You just need to eat spicy food all the time. Tame your mouth. <laughs> really, Suzu? Oh, I like Suzu. She's she's a spitfire, that one. Sounds difficult. Anyways, after the mall, what do you want to do? We could go to the Pink Lady Cafe and chill out with Kay. But we have to stop by the arcade. They have this new game out called Orion. You get to control this guy named Isaku, and you're part of the rebel forces, and you get to shoot things, and there's robots, and... Sheesh, we get... <laughs> I'd rather go in the late afternoon. She has better options during the last hour of the cafe. So basically after the arcade? You figured me out so quickly, Patterson. <laughs> what did I tell you about using my last name? Well, let's go to... I'll go to the arcade, screw that, because that's what Mimi would want to do. Ooh. Is that froggish? Instead of frogger, it's froggish. Let's see. Street warrior instead of street fighter. I can't. Suzu's blocking that one, and I can't see what the other one says. Moonfall Arcade. Okay. Kids and teenagers blind the games watching players at the consoles as they initially simulated their turn. Oh, oh, there it is! There it is! Orion. A neo-futuristic battlefield and an enemy robot charging right at the camera. Ooh. This is the game you were excited about? It looks really cool. That's right! And I'm gonna play it so hard I'll beat the game in one shot. Okay, Suzu. Woohoo! Alright, let's do this. Took a good half hour to be able to step up to the platform. The point of the game is to beat the government, restore freedom to the general public. We played as rebels in a robot in a game, quickly became a smash and bash game versus multiple enemy robots. We both knew our strengths and weaknesses were. We got the swing of the game and we were beating enemies like crazy. By the time we got to the boss, we were unstoppable. And that is how you game. We are unstoppable, Anderson. Yep. It was something I loved. We lost track of time, wound up staying longer than we expected making us unable to stop the cafe before going home to dress for the housewarming party. We had picked up clothes and other necessities from their houses before driving back to the mansion. I guess I'll play through to the housewarming party and see how that goes. The hour of the house party had arrived, in my mind, I kept double and triple checking the essentials for the party. Knowing my dad, he invited his business partners and executives of the Anderson Company to show me off. Oh, lovely. Uh, I stood at the front door of my room, in front of the mirror of my room, staring at my form and a million thoughts ran through my mind. It's just a house. Oh no! Ah, there we go. Housewarming party, but at the same time, it wasn't. Sorry. Uh, for some reason, I like shut all my windows down. That freaked me out. Okay. It was my chance to show Dad I was better than his expectations. It was a chance for me to see my parents as a woman, or my parents to see me as a woman to test if I was really ready to live on my own. Naturally alone, I had the incubator thing, blah, blah. Let me save real quick. Okay, I'm back. Who is it? Hey, are you okay in there? Your parents should be here soon, so you should hurry getting ready. Okay, Naomi. I I I think I know how to how to get dressed and shit. Well, I'm ready, but what? I'm sure you look fine, Anderson. Just come. All right. What? Dude, you look hot. Yeah, you look amazing. I've had it for a while. I never had a chance to wear it. Figure out. I might as well bring it out now. 
Thank you, I stood waiting for me at the bottom all dressed to the nines as proper servants. Aww, they went through a lot of trouble. I like that dress, really, though. I would wear that. Whoa! They really know how to dress well, don't they? I'm sure they do. Yeah. I love how they're color-coded. Like, this one always wears green. This one always wears blue. He always wears maroon. He doesn't... He normally wears purple. I'm sad he's not wearing any. Anyway. James offered his hand to me and walked me down the final step. As beautiful as a princess, miss. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. So, are you prepared for tonight? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Almost right on key, the doorbell rang. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Oh, my. I didn't know your bequeathment came with servants. It was probably overlooked. Besides, who would deny good service? Mm. I had to, there's no way they'd be okay with this otherwise. I guess the servants counted as belongings to the house. You rushed me to the large hug, hugged her back. Only been a couple days of living away from the ones who raised me. It was hard. My mother soon let me go and looked at my outfit. Gorgeous! You look so... I looked at my dad. Your mother's right. You look like you're all grown up. Aw, thank you for actually being nice. You owe that to me after smacking me in the face the other day. Did my dad just compliment me on his own accord? Mother's going to interior his words. I was beyond speechless. Thank you, Daddy. I assume that you're ready, then, to impress the rest of the guests, correct? What do you mean? The entire board from Anderson Toys is coming tonight. Even the vice chairman's son will be coming. All of them will be measuring your potential. Thanks for, you know, inviting them to my house, jerk. My potential? To become CEO of the company. Man, I knew it. Something was off. He's, like, trying to force her to be the CEO, but she doesn't really want to be. That's kind of messed up. Raise your thumbs at me for encouragement. Blah, blah. Full guests. Any officials, executive members. Oh, 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 so tired. Many even ask me questions. I try my best to reply as maturely as possible. So... How do you feel living on your own at such a young age? I'm doing my best. I'm so sorry about your grandfather passing away. It really hit all of us hard. Thank you for your condolences. Do you have college plans? That's a good question. What do you think will happen with the company now that your grandfather has passed? Oh, God. What do you think of the philanthropic policy the company has? Why are they asking me all these questions, man? I'm, I'm like 18 years old. Do you think the company should expand from just toys? Ugh. Mom pushed her way through the crowd to me. Honey, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This kind gentleman is the son of the vice chairman. She is a trying to hook me up, is she? Ah, uh, damn it, she's trying to hook me up. Ugh. This is one thing, my mother never tried this, and I'm kind of glad for it. <laughs> um. Hi, I'm Andrew Lewis. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Anderson. So, thank you. You're welcome. Praise. Oh, are you laughing at me, bro? You can get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry if I seem a little forward. <laughs> I've just been a. 
Why? He used to talk about you all the time in the office on how you helped him refine his toys. I only attended meetings and heard all of the stories. You've helped a lot with the success of the company without having to actually work there. <laughs> yeah, I helped for free. With Andrew, who had a kind face, something about it seemed off, and I didn't know what it was. wonder if that's one of those dudes I was dreaming about in that nightmare or whatever. Oh. So, you're Jared's son. Look at the awkward look on this dude's face right here. He's like, fuck. Oh my god. You're the one who wants to be the next CEO. Well... This guy wanted to take my grandfather's place as CEO. I thought the vice chairman wanted the position. David, leave the poor boy alone. Yeah, Dad. I'm merely testing the boy's convers- Of course not. And polite as well. Interesting. If you'll ex- Yeah, I gotta ex apologize for my dad's shitty behavior. Oh, I am. Um, I should what be the one to apologize. When I mean, my dad behaved, he shouldn't have been so. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Still, I'm sorry. It's not a problem, really. Dumb. <laughs> it still gets me every time. Dumb bitch. My name's Dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm twelve. <laughs> That's a pretty name. I'm happy to know it now. Uh, it's not that nice. <laughs> Bruce, proof how my dad hated me, I'm sure. I have to disagree with you. It's much better than Andrew. I mean, who names their kid Andrew? A lot of people name their kid Andrew, bro. But how about Axel or Ace? Something cool like that. Axel... I know someone with a cat named Axel, and Ace just sounds like you want to be a fighter pilot. I'm so, I know two, two people named Ace. You know two people named Ace? A few people named Ace. Of course you do. Couldn't help but laugh with me, blah blah. Lewis. Your limo is in the front. The dr oh, alright. Thank you. I yeah. don't want to hear it. Do not become friendly with him. He wants to take the company away from us. Oh you my have god. No reason to be friends with him. Because he's a decent person and you need to get over yourself? What if I don't want to run the company? That's not that's not your decision to make, bruh. Before I could return my dad trying to walk back inside. Wanting the party to end immediately. What? You did good tonight. I'm proud. Thanks, Dad. Keep it up, and you'll be a good CEO. Oh my god, stop bringing that up! Oh, right. Alright, your mother and I have to leave. <laughs> Achievement, Naomi Dad approves. Leave as well. Just because it's Saturday doesn't mean you should stay up all night. Alright. Thanks for having us. It was a great party. We'll come visit tomorrow or something. See ya. Good night, sweetie. Come visit us soon. She sounds weird. Come visit us soon. Will do. Off where my remaining guests left the building. That was tiring. It's not like you had to do any work, though. Give her a break, man. She was getting interrogated left and right. She uh. handled herself the best she could. Thank you. Thank you. As expected, princess. Oh my god, stop being creepy. Since you're exhausted, why not head to bed? We can clean up. <laughs> Hush, Sam. Are you guys sure? Positive. Ho ho ho! It didn't take long to find you little shits after all. Oh god. No. Don't worry. No one will hurt you. I mean, that's not a dream this time. Are you sure? Are you really? Is 
They're just like straight up demons. Oh, okay. A pistol in his hand. Oh, what's the matter, boys? You really did. I hoped you would. You. What? What the fuck? What? Why the fuck won't you work? This place is protected. What did you say, shrimp? This place has a seal, protecting it from hellborn magic. How convenient is that? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The previous owner had this place protected by magic, Malix. Nice. It would seem that your grandfather had some sort of protective barrier around this house. From the looks of it, it only disables Hellborn magic. Then what's stopping me from dragging your asses out and shooting you? Because you're outnumbered, you dick. Fuck off. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! <laughs> hey, let her go, Sam, Eric. <laughs> Come on, asswipe. That's enough, Malix. What? Who do the girl who's going to help you kill them. Just not now. Oh, I see how this is gonna work. They're gonna try to seduce me to the dark side. Got it, okay. I see where this game is going. Not now! There's five of them, and two of us. Even if we come back with the gang, they can have the place surrounded by human police. Then... We shoot everyone! Uh... Think! If we shoot everyone, we'll be hunted. And it'll be a matter of time before makeshift paladins come and try to exercise us. The girls think it was some reason, bro. You should probably listen to that. <laughs> and don't think you're safe. Whoa, whoa! Are you alright? Um, no. A demon just broke into my house and said he was going to kill me. I'm Peachy. He's been closely tracking us. Our blood trail from the forest must have led him here. <sighs> we should have stopped him and finished it here. For once, Matthew, I agree with you. Is he a demon? That son of a bitch is not a demon. He's a devil. Oh, that's just worse. A devil? There's a difference? Yes. Demons come from a different plane of existence called the Abyssal Plains. We actually have brains, for one. Devils always like to cause trouble and try to kill or torture others for their own enjoyment. Demons, like us, know when to use our powers and when not to. We're not stupid. Oh, well, that's something. Devils follow orders from higher-ups in their order, and their power only comes from their connection to hell. Demons all have free wills and don't rely on where they came from to use their powers. Yeah. What do we do? Safe. What Damien's saying is that the magic that protects this place also protects you. Uh, as long as I'm in the house? Your grandfather must have cast it when you last saw him or something of that nature. We can sense its aura around your body. So my grandfather was a wizard? What did I get myself into? Miss, please don't worry. We'll find a way to train ourselves and become stronger to finally finish this feud. <sighs> I'm gonna kick his ass right now! I'm with you on this one, Sam. Until then, we'll protect you as much as we can. If Malix comes back, we'll be here for you. Thanks, dude. What about going outside, Like Willie? we said, you have a protection spell on you. 
Even if Malix attacks you, he won't be able to use his magic on you. He'd be just like any other human you can fight back against. Nice. Didn't you say you knew Taekwondo? Truth? Well, yeah. Went to bed that night. <laughs> green apples. What kind of achievement is green apples? Whatever. Devils, demons, heaven, cell even happened. Should I really meddle with this situation? They're only staying until after they defeat Malix. That's right. They said they only have to stay until after they defeat Malix. Other than my life would go back to normal. Temporarily, temporary insanity, as Kay would say. The question is, what would I want them to leave? So if my life went back to normal, then I have to care for the house on my own. I have to focus on my life to be instructed by the boys. I'd have to. My life. Where was my life going anyway? And I've let you sleep and deal with their worries tomorrow when it comes to feeding my sense of thought. Blah, blah. I'm going to save right here and I'm going to end it. Um, thank you guys for checking out this video with me today. I know like a lot of the text reading games are kind of boring, but this one just... It's getting weird. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.